Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today we're going to be doing the indented style manuscript on one page. Currently I have a manuscript in front of me, right? This manuscript is a block style manuscript, not fully completed because the block style should be in the um, double line spacing, but it is block style, just typed and everything, not yet formatted in the block style. What I'm going to be doing now is just simply to turn this block style manuscript into an indented style manuscript. Alright? So let's start with the headings. So we have entering the working world which is the main heading and currently it is in space capitals meaning one space between letters three spaces between words. And my subheading job hunt Realize that there's a double space between the name and the subheading as always should be and that there is a triple space between the subheading and the body. How I know that that is it, I'm going to put on my show height as a guide. When I select show height, I see one show height between main and sub and two show heights between sub and the body. Note also that these show heights, they do not have any space before and after them, which is how it should be. All right, I'm going to take that off and note that I'm on no spacing. All right, so I'm going to highlight my headings and I'm going to select center alignment. So my headings are now in the center. Another thing with indented style manuscript is that all the paragraphs are indented. So I'm just going to quickly go through this and just press the tab key to indent all my paragraphs. And then we go back to the top. What to look for is a shoulder heading so that does not move from where it is, always in the left margin. All right, so the paragraph if the advertisement. So I'm going to indent that. All right, so let's go and put this in double line spacing. I'm going to highlight from the beginning of the paragraph the first word all the way down to the full stop in the paragraph. No more, no less. I'm going to press Ctrl 2, which is a shortcut key for double line spacing, to get a double space between that. All right, now let me undo this and see something here. With the indented manuscript, right, it can, it, we can have a triple space or a double space between our paragraphs. All right, in the I did a video on block style manuscript and I showed you how we get a triple space between the paragraphs. So for this purpose, I'm going to do it with a double line space in between the paragraphs. Alright, so I'm going to take that out and then I'm going to put it in a double line spacing. Alright, so there, when I'm typing, I will put no space between paragraphs. How will I know that this is an indented manuscript? Because the paragraphs will be indented. So that will allow me to easily identify one paragraph from the other. Right? If it was in block style, I cannot identify where the paragraphs start or end. And as such, because it would have been in double line spacing, I would need to put a triple space between my paragraphs. So let me put this in double line spacing. So I highlight from the start, all right, to the beginning, to the end of the paragraph, and I press Ctrl 2, which is a shortcut key for double line spacing. All right, I go to the next paragraph. Start from when all the way down to progress. Now, let me drag down and show you something here. Now, students often do this. Instead of stopping at the full stop as I indicated in the first paragraph, students will drag down the cursor to get a line, a blue line here. What this blue line here is doing is highlighting this row that is here. And so what will happen is that when we press Ctrl and 2 to get a double line spacing, it will give an extra space. Realize now that there's an extra space below the cursor. There's an extra space below the cursor, which now causes our document to be incorrect as it relates to spacing. Let me select the show hide and show you what I'm talking about. So here you have the show hide, right? And it has a space above and a space below. If the show height was here and there's a space above it, 
then that would be like an imaginary space where another show height could go. So that would symbolize two show heights, which would be a triple space. But when you have space below your show height, that is a no-no. All right? And so we have to undo that. Uh, so let me take off my show height and undo this by pressing Ctrl and Z, which is a shortcut key for undo. And I highlight again. And please ensure that you never drag down the cursor when you're highlighting to get a blue um, line below the paragraph. It will cause everything or that paragraph to be wrong. So you start from the beginning to the end of the paragraph. That's it. And I press Ctrl and 2. So there you have it. Right? How oh, you know my first paragraph different from my second paragraph? First from second, it is indented. So I can see where each paragraph begins. All right? And there's a double space between the paragraphs. All right. You don't learn about this as yet, but as you go further in the subject area, you're going to learn about enumeration and inset, etc. Right? Those are things that can be within a document. All right? So this currently is called enumeration. All right? And enumeration or enumerated items are normally in double line spacing. All right? So it is in a double space between each point. Okay? All right? So note that I have one and a bracket. Now, this is how it is done for the block style. I can have one bracket after the number. I can have a bracket before or and after the number. Or I cannot have any bracket at all. Three ways to do it for the block style. But when it comes to the indented style, we use the full stop. So, and then because it's an indented style, enumeration will, the enumeration will also have to be indented. I'm going to use my ruler bar to assist me with this to take it 0 0.5 inches in. Right. And there you have it. I'm going to line that up with my paragraph above. When? By selecting Clicking on the ruler bar to get an imaginary line going down. There you can see it going down so everything is properly aligned. All right? And that's my enumeration. Okay. The next thing that I need to do is to change from the bracket to the full stop. So how am I going to do that? I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to go up on my ribbon to where I have bullets and numbering. Where I see numbering, I'm going to select the down arrow there and I'm going to change to the numbering with the full stop after it. There you have it. So it's now fitted for the indented style. Alright, so my shoulder heading, as I said before, is always in the left margin. And then I'm going to highlight my paragraph and I press Ctrl 2 to get it into double line spacing. As it relates to the shoulder heading, there's always a triple space before it and a double space after it. All right, there you have it. Show height with a space above symbolizes a triple space because it's not every time, based on how we do it, so every time you're going to see two show heights. But you must know that there's a space here where an imaginary show, the, um, show height could be. All right, and there's one after. So that's okay. And that's it for the indented star. That is it. All right, the next thing I'm going to quickly show you how to, what to do is to, Put the heading in the header. Alright, this is very important as it relates to the subject area. Alright, having your heading, your awarded marks. Alright, so in dentist style manuscript, and I'm going to put a name. Okay, so there's the name. This is not in the Times New Roman font, so I'm going to put it in, all right, font size 12, okay, all right, also note that you select different first page, all right, and that will prove fruitful when you are doing more than one pages, different first page is what we should select for this, all right, and my header from top is at 0 0.3 inches. All right, it was at 0 0.5 and I brought it up to 0 0.3, right? That's where we'll put all of this information. Every document that you're typing, where you need to put your name and the name of a document, you put it at 0 0.3 inches. It's good practice. Why? Because when we're typing letters, right, and we need to do a letterhead, 
the letter head will start at 0 0.5 inches. By default, once you open your head is at 0 0.5, and if you type this information there, that's where the letter head is supposed to begin. So, so right, we put it at 0 0.3 to come out of the way of the letter head. All right, so good practice. So you do it for one document, you just practice it and do it for all. And that's it, my indented style manuscript. Do hope you will learn something today. All right, and if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Please share it with your rest of classmates and friends and colleagues. And also, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss another upload. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.